With this video, we want to demonstrate the technique for crossing the aortic bifurcation. This is one of the most common maneuvers performed in selective catheterization. With this approach, we can perform contralateral, external or distal common iliac and infrainguinal interventions. It can separate the access site and treatment site, thus potentially avoiding ca the cascade of complications. It also provides a longer working distance. We use the following devices to gain anti-grade access to the contralateral iliac system. Micropuncture kit, 5 French sheath, uh, Benson wire, Omniflush catheter and an angle tip glide wire. Following the left common femoral artery uh, access under ultrasound guidance with a micropuncture kit, a 5 French sheet was placed and we passed a Benson wire into the abdominal aorta. After that, an Omniflush catheter was introduced and the wire is retracted, allowing the catheter to gain its shape. It is now located at the level of the L2 vertebral body. We successfully parred our catheter in the abdominal aorta. As the next step, we have to assess the infrarenal aorta and the right iliac system. To evaluate it, we've performed an angiogram. Aortogram demonstrated a widely patent aorta and widely patent bilateral common external and internal iliac arteries. The aortic bifurcation is free of disease and it bifurcates in an ideal angle. In case of acute aortic bifurcation angle, a Roche IMA catheter could be used to cross it, since it has a tighter hook shape and allows to turn in a more acute angle. We proceeded to use the Omniflush catheter to cannulate the contralateral common iliac artery. A roadmap was created to delineate its course. The catheter head is withdrawn within one vertebral body proximal to the bifurcation. The tip of the catheter is positioned to point toward the contralateral common iliac artery. It can be achieved by spinning the catheter, however, in this example, there was no need to perform this extra step. An angle tip glide wire is introduced and advanced gently into the contralateral common iliac artery. When passing a guide wire up and over the aortic bifurcation, it is common for the wire to bounce off the outer wall of the contralateral common iliac artery and enter the internal iliac artery instead of the external iliac artery. In this case, the wire would show a more medial course compared to the expected course of the external iliac. After the common iliac artery is accessed with the guide wire, at least for a few centimeters, the catheter head can be withdrawn to rest on top of the bifurcation, which results in a favorable angle to cannulate the external iliac artery. The guide wire is advanced and now we have an up and over access to the contralateral iliac system. The omniflush catheter is exchanged to an angled glide catheter, which will be used to obtain a right lower extremity angiogram. This concludes our video on the technique of crossing the bifurcation.